YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to another live commentary. Today, we're messing with a brand new hand cannon called Epical Integration. This is a 140 RPM hand cannon that I have to say looks amazing. Probably the best looking hand cannon in the game, but we all know when it comes to stats and perks, it's a different story, right? So this one is a static roll for now. I don't know if they're going to let us get different rolls on it in the future, but it's not the greatest. We have Keep Away, which is definitely an S tier perk. And in our hand cannon, we can get a plus 10 range and some other benefits that is going to help it be a pretty decent option for mid to long range. Now, in the next slot, we also have Eye of the Storm, which is known to be a pretty good dueling perk as you get more, more accuracy the lower your health gets. And below those perks, we actually have some PvE ones that I'll show you later. But for now, we're going to take this into Crucible and slay some opponents. So we have two origin traits, one that works with raid weapons. Such as the conditional finality, which I have right now. So that means that if I pair that with those raid weapons, I'm going to be getting bonus handling and bonus reload speed. He's pretty weak. Now I have to say this hand cannon is extremely accurate. Coming with a really high stability stat. Oh my God, that's the hunter with the... with the cloning effect. Let's go ahead and keep our distance here. We're gonna put a barricade. The other origin trait option that we have is actually the Nano Trace Rockets. Boom, baby. <laughs> I'm dead here. Oh, the Wither Horse shot. What a top tier shot, man. We're also messing around with the stasis changes on the time to see how well it works. And so far, it's pretty fun, to be honest. We got that kill. We got some power ammo. Let's rotate back, kind of calm down a little bit as there's some things I want to talk to you about. So, yeah, we got the little rockets that, you know, as we're shooting a target continuously, we get to proc it. But to be honest, we've known this from before. They're kind of just there for being cool, right? I took it into a private match to see if it has any really effect in the gameplay or the performance of the hand cannon, but I'll tell you right now, do not expect anything crazy. It didn't do anything for me, and I doubt it was going to do much for many players. Oh, the flank. You gotta, gotta watch out for that one. Now, one thing that hand cannons typically get to experience when they have high stability it's less bloom and less flinch. I could definitely feel it from using this one. That keep away range. Interesting. I gotta say the AE on this one is actually really effective as well. Grab that zone. I'm gonna protect you a little bit. I gotta keep my distance. I'm actually burning. Oh no, as soon as I was going to jump over and try to get a shot off. That's two. Some spicy players, we like to see it. Anyways, what I wanted to say was that the biggest downs that we're going to experience with this hand cannon is actually the lack of range. Uh, this hand cannon this season will not really see uh, too much popularity in terms of like how meta it is, unfortunately. We don't have things like opening shot, we don't have range finder. Or slide shot to boost the range even more. So I I'm trying to figure out how is this hand cannon going to try to remain relevant when it comes to PvP. It looks badass. And if looks could kill, this weapon would definitely be S tier. Oh, we have to slow down here because unfortunately I don't think we can win this game. Zone A lost. Enemy has zone I would like to pop my super. Took one down. Let's rotate away. Because I am getting collapsed on here. 
Oh no. Managed to take one down. I'm at the forefront of all the action right now, so either I carry my team or I just eat all the supers and abilities. Nice, good teams. Good. Let's put a barricade here. Is that ours? Watch out, there's another one. This is our Willow Radiance. Looks like the enemy team is rotating to see. Oh. Hey, so we got that kill. There's someone behind me. Oh, dude, it feels good for dueling, actually. Oh, there's another one. I thought it was actually the clone trying to bait me. Holy shit, it's so easy to just keep shooting somebody. It feels like a mini 180. Wait, the 180 handkins are so easy to follow up with your shots. And maybe that's the effect they wanted because think about it. We have almost max ability. On top of that, we have Eye of the Storm. Oh, he's pre aiming that. Oh, there's somebody already pre aiming that. I'm trying to get my health back up. Oh, he's playing his life. I need help. He's trying to just sit behind it like a barricade or something. <laughs> Took him down. You're not catching me with that Shadow Clone Jutsu, brother. <laughs> well, we managed to pull the score a little bit towards the end, but not enough to actually secure the victory. Nice little trade. Low 36 bomb, not too bad. Widow scored and the hand cannon actually did pretty well considering that other team was pretty much more stacked than we were. All right, so here we are at the start of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. Really what I wanna show you here is just kind of the perks in action. They're not new perks. It's something you've seen in the past. And to some of you, it might be very familiar. The hand cannon obviously gets the combination of stats for all with incandescent. Now combined with either origin traits, you got a pretty solid 140 hand cannon that does a pretty decent job at reloading fast, swapping fast, and burning a couple targets. Some people will like this for ad clear, some people will like it just for the booms, and others will really appreciate it for the solar builds that you can do thanks to the scourging and all the explosions, correct? Now, unfortunately for this hand cannon, I feel like it's very lacking in the PvE department. If some people like this, it's going to be due to the availability. Now, listen to me. There's another hand cannon that could pretty much do the same job, if not better, and that is the hand cannon from King's Fall Raid. And this is why I said some people might prefer this because of the availability, since you have to do the raid, of course, and then, you know, get lucky with the random rolls, and maybe one day get enough patterns to craft the hand cannon. And this one, I mean, I don't want to be the one to start an argument of how easy it was, but really, I just kind of held W during the story mission, and I was rewarded with a pretty solid PvE hand cannon roll. As you can see here, we are definitely scorching and causing a lot of explosion. It, it, it's a fun weapon. It looks amazing. It's not going to be anything crazy top tier. You won't hear people. You won't hear people saying that it's like meta or anything like that. Which makes me hope that maybe there's more in store for this hand cannon in the future. But for now, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy using it. I definitely like my time with it. Now, before I end the video, I'm gonna give you a surprise. We're gonna check out some shaders and I got one that I highly recommend that makes this hand cannon so worth it. So here we have some that changes the color, of course. Some of the flames are affected as well by the shader, right? But here's the real crazy one. You ready for this? Now there's a popular shader known for changing the glow 
constantly, right? The RGB shader. And here it is. Photo finish. I'll let that play for you a little second. Yeah. Boom. Oh, look at it. Hey, nice. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.